Welcome to the Primo Analytics tutorial on creating a new analysis. In the last tutorial, we saw how to edit an existing analysis. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a new analysis, add an interpretive graph to the report, then put that report onto my dashboard. Let's say that I want to create an analysis that will show me a monthly report on how many times certain types of scopes were used. In other words, how many times did users select a local scope versus the Primo Central scope? Or are they using a blended scope that contains local and remote resources? In Primo Analytics, we would select New, then Analysis. When I click on Analysis, I get another menu of options. I'm going to select Primo Action Usage. This brings me to the Edit Analysis screen. Notice that we have four tabs, Criteria, Results, Prompts, and Advanced. And by default, we're brought to the Criteria tab. In the main part of the screen, there are two panes, Selected Columns and Filters. To create my analysis, I would choose different metrics from the Subject Areas pane over on the left, then double-click or drag them into the selected columns area on the right. OK, first I need to consider what I want my report to look like. I want to know how many times each scope type was used and when that usage occurred. So this report will need to contain the list of scope types, the number of times they were used, and the month that they were used in. In the Subject Areas pane, I can click on Action Usage, and I find Search Scope Type. This is the column that I'm looking for, so I'm going to double-click on Search Scope Type to add it to the selected columns. I'm going to do the same with Actions. Notice when I mouse over Actions, I get a tooltip that gives me descriptive information about this metric. This one says the number of times actions were invoked. Double click on Actions, and then now for the month. Let's go to Dates, and let's use Month Date. Okay, now that I have my columns in place, I want to see what this looks like, so I click on the Results tab. Okay, this looks good. Notice that the results are grouped by scope type. If I wanted them to be grouped by month, I could change the order of the columns right here in the Results tab. I'll put Month first by clicking on the column at the top, holding down the mouse button, and dragging it to the first position. Same information, but in this order it tells a different story. On our training server, it looks like we did not have scopes in place until August 2015. So I want to focus on everything on or after that date. Let's go back to the Criteria tab and apply a filter. I'm going to mouse over the Options icon for Date, and then select Filter. I get a pop-up window, and now I can fill in my criteria. I'm going to select Is Greater Than or Equal To for my operator, and then for the value, I'm going to click on the Select Date icon. I set my date to August 2015. OK. And now I have my filter. Now when I click on the Results tab, I can see the updated results. OK. So now we have our table. Let's add a graph. At the top of the screen, I have icons that will allow me to invoke different functions. I'm going to find my Add New View. I'm going to click on that, and now I have a menu where I can see visualizations, tables, different types of graphs, and so on. Let's select Graph, Bar, then Stacked Vertical. I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page, and now I can see my Actions graph. I'd like to add this report to my dashboard. To do this, I will need to save my analysis, 
and I'll save it in my folders. OK. Next, Dashboards, My Dashboard, then I'll go to Page Options, Edit Dashboard. Let's create a new dashboard page for this report. So I'll click on the Add Dashboard page, and I'll name the page. OK. Now I can find my new analysis in my folders, drag and drop the analysis onto the dashboard, and save the dashboard. And now when I run the dashboard, here's my new report. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To learn how to run reports and dashboards on a regular basis and have the results emailed to you, please watch Primo Analytics Scheduling Reports and Dashboards.